Hello, church family. It's been a, a few weeks uh, since we have sent out a video uh, and an update and the announcement. So we wanted to do that uh, in light of the most recent announcement from the governor about our safer at home orders. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But before we get to that, I just wanted to uh, encourage you and also uh, invite you uh, to learn, as we talked about this past Sunday, uh, we understand that there are those times in our lives when we go through those tests. And so we can recognize that this is one of those opportunities, those opportunities given to Abraham, those opportunities given to Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and also those uh, children of Israel who were wandering in the wilderness. And Scripture says that God brought them through those tests to examine them and also to take them deeper in their faith. And so I want to encourage you constantly to continue thinking about how you can grow deeper in your faith. And so as we have been socially distancing ourselves from one another and in many occasions from work and, uh, and other activities, it's important for us to examine ourselves to see where we are in the faith uh, and also to examine our walk with the Lord and see how close we are, how distant we are. So let me encourage you today, let me encourage you to think in the coming days constantly and consistently about your relationship with the Lord, where you are, how you're doing in your relationship with the Lord. Are you reading the Word? Are you praying? Are you walking with God? Uh, one of the things about this crisis time uh, is that it has enabled us, in a sense forced us, uh, to not only remove ourselves from the distractions around us, but to focus on those things which are most important in our lives. And hopefully for all of us, the number one issue of importance with us is our walk with God. And so I want to encourage you uh, to continue or to start reading God's Word. I want to encourage you to continue or to start praying. I mean praying hard and praying regularly, praying consistently. And I want to encourage you as we will in the coming months, uh, I could say, uh, begin meeting together in some capacity, in some way, as we are getting accustomed to our new normal, to think about the gathering and how we will encourage one another when we are gathered together. But these are necessary. They're vital in our lives. I'm assuming some of you, like me, have also been reminded of just the importance of family with my three young kids it's been awesome to get to do things with them over the past few weeks that uh, we haven't done sometimes uh, ever, but also there are some things that we haven't been doing as regularly and consistency, consistently. So it's been great to, to hang out with them in fresh ways. And so hopefully as we look back on this time, we can be reminded uh, of the importance of walking with God and the importance of our families and pouring spiritually into our families. So let me encourage you with that moving forward uh, and in light of moving forward and that whole idea. Now let's talk about where we're moving and what we're doing. Uh, as I'm assuming many of you have seen the safer at home orders given by the governor, what this means for us is nothing has changed. And we know that that is true over the next two weeks, which we can assume will be the next two Sundays for us. We know that we will be doing the same because nothing has changed in regards to what those uh, in authority are recommending, what they are advising. So for the next two weeks, we know that we will be doing drive-in church. And just to be honest with you, I can imagine that we'll be doing drive-in church for a couple or a few weeks after the next two weeks. So it seems that for the month of May, we will be doing drive-in church. Now, the great thing for us is we've been gathering. We've been gathering in cars, seeing each other through windows, but we've been gathering. So we will continue gathering. We will not stop gathering. Uh, we will only gather in a different way. And what I want to encourage you with is to think about this and to recognize this as the new normal. I think that oftentimes we can get in our minds when things get back to normal. The danger of that is that we find ourselves um, not enjoying what God is doing in the, the new normal, in the now. And so I don't want you to think about the the back to normal conversation or the thought process. I want you to think about the new normal. In the new normal, how are we walking with God? In the new normal, how will we gather as a church? In the new normal, how will we function as the church? And so it's going to adapt and to change over these coming weeks. So be encouraged that 
in this new normal, we will continue gathering. We will just continue gathering in different ways. Some of the factors, just to let you know what we are considering as we will be gathering in the coming days, in the coming weeks, um, as recommended by those in those positions, making those recommendations, uh, is the issue of ventilation. Uh, it's important to have a good ventilation system. Uh, secondly is the sanitation or the cleanliness factor, the ability to clean up after people have gathered. And the third, of course, is that phrase that we've all grown accustomed to, the social distancing. And so we're going to have to factor in those elements as we're making decisions moving forward. Also, the fact that we know that, that some of you, especially those who are in the, the vulnerable group, are not excited about gathering uh, right now just because of the health and, uh, and risk factors. We understand that. And so given that consideration, we're gonna be sending out this week a survey and just, we wanna hear from you. We wanna hear from you about how you're feeling. We wanna hear from you about how we're uh, gathering and, and moving forward, how we will be gathering. We wanna hear from you about things that we can do to serve you and minister to you. And so we're gonna be sending that out to you just to get your feedback, to get your thoughts uh, and to help us moving forward to know what some of you are thinking about as far as the gathering and your willingness uh, to come back and what time frame that you would be more inclined to come back and gather and, uh, and get back into these close, closer groups that we're accustomed to in our churches. So just to give you a heads up, we'll be sending out that survey. We'd love your feedback. Send it back to us. That way it will help us make these informed decisions. But beyond that, we're going to be considering those three factors. Uh, and so I just want to encourage you to not think when we get back to normal, to think this is the new normal. And so how will we gather in the new normal? What will the gathering look like? And how can we encourage one another when we are gathered together? Again, we've been gathering. We will be gathering. We will just be gathering in different ways, probably in different locations in the coming weeks and in the coming months. What we know is that God is good. What we know is that God is on his throne. We know that we love God because he first loved us, as 1 John 4 tells us. We also know this, that we love one another. We can't wait to be back together in whatever capacity that is. We look forward to that. But in the meantime, we're going to pray for each other. We're going to encourage each other any way we can. Uh, and we will be encouraged by one another any way that we can moving forward. So that's where we are right now. We'll be doing drive-in church for the foreseeable future. We will let you know when things change, we'll give you a heads up and let you know that. I want to encourage you to, uh, if you can't attend drive-in church, continue to view online, or you can also listen to the radio. I want to encourage you, if you are able to come to drive-in church, invite someone to come with you. Of course, in a different car, but invite someone to come with you. We'd love to see you there at drive-in church here in our parking lot at Dolphin Way. Uh, and we can't wait to be back together whenever that happens. In the meantime, walk with Jesus. Read the word, pray. Pray that God would stir and move and provoke within us a desire to be with him, a desire to grow closer to him during this time. I look forward to seeing you. God bless.